Hi, popping in, editing Kendall already. My audio was so bad in this video and you guys may not notice it, but I do. So I wanna warn you beforehand, if you are a headphones wearer, don't. <laughs> Which is sad because this is the type of movie that you probably need headphones for. But um, yeah, I am sorry. It's probably because my mic was too close to me or I did some kind of setting or whatever. But I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm also sorry for the rest of this video. But yeah, you know, that's neither here nor there. I'm looking rough. <laughs> I've never been one that's good at flexibility, you know, like, oh, inconvenience. Yeah, let me like change my whole plan. Let me, let me adapt. I'm more of a f and I'll just try again tomorrow type bitch. <laughs> but today is gonna be an attempt at um <laughs> trying. <laughs> my last video, I literally said, I'm gonna film tomorrow, Tuesday, I think it was the day that I was gonna film. It may currently be Friday, 8.20 PM <laughs> and I, upload on Saturdays, so. Also, I hate my hair, please don't mention it. I don't wanna talk about it right now. Hey, I'm Kendall, by the way. <laughs> if this is your first time here, uh, welcome. And if you're not new around here, what is up, home school biscuit? Happy Saturday. If you don't know, Saturday is when I do a little something on my channel called Bad Movies in a Beat, the series on my channel where I talk about bad movies while putting my makeup on. And today's bad movie was not the plan. I'm adapting, things change. Um, so, we're looking at Butt Boy. <laughs> Quite the switcheroo. Um, before we get into this masterpiece, I'm sure, I don't know, I haven't seen it, we'll see. I have some assumptions. <laughs> I'm so tired. That was supposed to be my walk into an ad run. <laughs> Roll it, people, this is what they pay me money for. This video is sponsored by NordVPN, the virtual private network that I personally subscribe to to keep my browsing and information safe and protected. NordVPN secures your IP address so that your internet provider can't snoop in on your browsing and download history, especially since mine is just riddled with smut to movie adaptations at this point, which is only appropriate because Nord is like a giant condom for your internet. Will they let me say that? <laughs> They secure your internet with double protection malware block, meaning your data will never be compromised. And for my purposes, if I ever want to say, look at movies from different streaming sites around the world, NordVPN has the ability to help you teleport or log in, you know, whatever, semantics, into the IP servers of 59 countries. Nord is risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to nordvpn.com slash Kenny and use code Kenny to get a two-year plan plus one free bonus. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video and let's get on with the debauchery. Oh, I didn't realize you can see my rollers here the entire time. Am I, I think I am gonna put some rollers in. Oh, and my arms hurt. Cause I finally went back to the gym to work on my fitness. Here's my witness. Yeah, yeah, got the boys on rock rock. But last time we were here, we, uh, I came with my hot takes on one of the, up until then, uniformly rejected Tyler Perry film which should be most of them, but for some reason, Acrimony got the most heat. And I talked about how it's really, um, it's still not great, but it's like, it's doing some things. It's trying to make some points. Execution wise, we can argue, but you know, I defended it for like an hour. And some people, from what I hear, were not necessarily convinced, but they like to hear me talk about it. So if you wanna hear me talk for an hour, you can check out that video or you can check it out in the Bat Movies and a Beat playlist. Now this week, I'm doing another reaction style video, which I don't generally do a whole lot of because generally speaking, I tend to do reaction videos to movies that I don't really think will have much substance. This one, I have no idea. Actually, I think it's a movie that's trying to take a very ludicrous premise and actually build like a dark comedy around it. So there might be a whole storyline. We'll be looking at the 2020 dark comedy, I believe is what they're marketing it as, Butt Boy. I had gone to Twitter earlier today actually and asked like, what are some really bad movies on Amazon Prime? Cause I feel like true cesspool of the streaming world, especially in the paid 
since is Amazon Prime. You can find some masterpieces on Tubi for free usually, but I think sometimes you have ads and, and who the f wants to watch ads for an already admittedly terrible movie. You're already watching Shane Dawson's Not Cool and now you're making me watch ads too. Anyway, but somebody recommended Butt Boy, which weirdly enough, wasn't the first time I had heard of that title. I remember seeing a trailer vaguely sometime last year about a film called Butt Boy. You were asking me to go off this theory you got about a white married male who happens to be a father has been secretly running around grabbing objects, animals, and children up his ass. And I was like, okay, well that's going on. <laughs> but today was the first time that I actually read the, the plot summary. <laughs> Detective Fox loves work and alcohol. After going to AA, his sponsor, Chip, becomes the main suspect in his investigation of a missing child. Fox also starts to believe that people are disappearing up Chip's butt. I'm a simple woman. I'm easily intrigued. Here we are. <laughs> but if you would like to watch the movie I checked, it is actually free on Tubi. Um, I don't know if you have to watch ads for it, which just seems like, again, a crime. You're already there to watch the underbelly of media. So like, why are we paying? But y'all gonna make me watch ads too? What do I pay for Prime for? Purchase options. I just, how much do I hate myself? A little bit, enough. <laughs> Tiny Cinema is responsible for this. Oh, all right, so let's drop a beat, huh? Oh, no. My name is Rick, and I'm here to say RTM is here to stay. Pause. I definitely thought it said R-I-M. It's called Butt Boy, so I thought we were starting early. <laughs> There is no way you'd see that many happy people in a circle together unless it was a cold. Call those clients and make those There you go. There's my guy. Quarter guys RTM strikes again. RTM. Who the fuck is that happy at work? I'm so mad. This looks like this looks moderately budgeted. Johnny's getting his first prostate exam. Yes, yes. Please get your prostate exam, people. Don't uh don't let homophobia kill you. around I don't like this I don't like that he just want a little stinky pinky no I get it if you don't want to do it don't do it wow that was wow this is so greatly uncomfortable <laughs> you know what's really frustrating me only a few minutes into this movie is that there's a moderate budget here and that makes me so mad <laughs> and there's some decent cinematography even Pause. Sorry, that was a lot. <laughs> How many minutes? I'm only six minutes and 42 seconds into it. He just shoved a bar of soap up his ass. That's where we're going here. Okay. Stop! <laughs> Chip, have you seen the remote? Oh my God. Have you seen the remote? <laughs> I hate it here. What the f***? What the f***? What is happening? He just put the- <laughs> Leave the dog alone! Ah, he done shoved the dog up his ass! Somebody said this on Twitter and I think they were onto something. They were like, I don't even think this is a hear me out film. I think this was one person with too much money that said, I'm gonna make a movie. Why don't you uh, take him home for a nap? I'll finish up here. I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm looking at. Did he, did he, did he stick a whole person up his ass? I'm not understanding who's missing. The purse, the baby? They did say something about missing. Is he sticking babies up his ass? I have so many questions. Like, does he, is he like Samantha from Skins? Does he like throw them up? Does he hear their thoughts? Are they one now? I have so many questions.
I hate that they have decent cinematography here. Not that transition being smooth as f into his house from the outside. Is he gonna absorb her into his butt void? Why is- th I'm so mad that the cinematography is decent. How much- I what is the budget? I swear to God, if you tell me some crazy ass budget, I'm a- From like a very random place on the internet, it said $100,000. It looks really good for $100,000. So this is obviously like one guy <laughs> who funded this because there is no way in hell. I do kind of commend someone saying, hey, I want to make a movie about a guy who absorbs beings up his butt. And instead of waiting around, I assume, instead of waiting around for someone to give him the money for it, it's like, nah, we're not gonna fund that. We have like stories of oppressed peoples and you know, we need to have more Asian representation. We gotta put Scarlett Johansson in something, you know? <laughs> I stole that joke. Minsuki actually, love Minsuki. Instead, this guy said, no, I wanna make my movie about <laughs> The butt absorbing serial killer? My name is Russell. I'm an alcoholic. Hey Russell. First night, what we usually do is is link you up with a sponsor. And and you're lucky because you're getting one of our veterans. Hey Chip. Not Chip be ah uh, I'm so offended by how the acting is actually better in this movie as well. I'm good. My whole body will explode. You, uh, you married? No. You got kids? Nah. Christ. No wonder I'm an alcoholic. Um. Single people don't automatically become alcoholics. I'm married with the kid. I, uh, Rude. So what do you do? Detective. What about you? What? What do you do? Computers. Starts from your head, and it moves right down to your feet. Not him missing the thrill. No! No! I was about to say something and now I'm, I know I'm gonna irritate people, but this may be quite a stylized look at addiction. I'm sorry. First of all, it's a piece from Sorry. You telling me this whole story would have been over if he just would have got a butt plug? Adam Mayle makes, from what I hear, I don't know, <laughs> makes plenty of things. Literally, that's all you needed. Just would have got a prostate massager and none of this would have been the problem. They make whole things to go up your ass. They make stuff for that. So guys, on a lighter note, this Thursday is bring your kids to work day. He's currently on a butt bender. Why are the shots so dynamic? It's really frustrating to me. Oh, f it's bring your kids to work day. He's gonna eat a child up with his butt. Is this a new type of pedophilia? Or like a spinoff of, of the original type? You're saying the kid was there one second and then gone the next. They were playing a game of hide and seek. We have the dad detained in the small room. He's, uh, he's not happy. Of course he's not happy, his child is missing. He's gonna be furious when he finds out that he's been absorbed up someone's ass. Cause as soon as I was briefed on what was going on down here, the first person that I wanted to talk to was the man or woman who runs all the tech. Oh, here I am. Yeah, here you are. Person that I wanted to talk to most was in fact my AA sponsor. Ooh. Small world. Draft up an invoice, make a PowerPoint presentation, all that bullshit, but None of them can shove a child up his ass. Shoot a guy. Oh, well, yeah, that too. 14, 15. Oh. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. They do have me at the edge of my seat. <laughs> they, they knew the assignment to some degree. Uh, this isn't how I would have done it, but hey. I just want to know the very drunk conversation that was had to make this happen. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, okay, so he has the evidence of him committing the the butt abduction on this red floppy disk. Tech people, tech nerds, do y'all still use that? No, right? <laughs> everything would be digital. Anyway, he's looking around where to put it. You've been shoving everything else up your ass. Like why not just? So you're asking me to go off this theory you got about a white married male who happens to be a father, who also happens to be your AA sponsor, has been secretly running around cramming objects 
animals and children up his asshole. I was really about to ask how he got here, but well, how did any of us get here to any part of this? Why am I asking any form of questions? Just continue. And it seems the more objects this guy's putting up his ass, the stronger he's getting. <laughs> That's my theory. Well, uh, but power. It's like our own Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <Yeah. laughs> Her laugh. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I really gotta take a sh. Do you mind? You got a sh right now? Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe we should try to uh, speed it up if you can. I really gotta get to bed. I gotta be up tomorrow. So. I wish you motherfucker would be okay. outside of the door. What? Back up from the door right now. I'm mad that I'm actually sucked into this. Oh, he found it. Is everything okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh... I am mad at how Thanks, uh, again for effectively the suspenseful this movie is. I'm down at the power plant. Ah! Oh! What the? F <laughs> Everything that I'm telling you. We can't just go on, on to the next scene from that. We can't just. Is he farting out decay? Is he farting out lost souls? Angry aberrations? My dude lost his job for being right about butt boy. You never want to kiss. He had kids. The you first butt kids. baby was his baby. I'm so mad this actually has me at the edge of my seat. Not the butt powers. Oh my God. Are we inside his asshole now? Oh my God. <laughs> okay, we still got a few minutes left. If the credits ain't 15 minutes. So is the baby in there too? Is the kid like nine now? Oh damn, the dog in there. At least they still alive. <laughs> Granted, is that better? I don't know. I'd probably not wanna, I'd probably not wanna see the light. I, I don't wanna go back. I feel like, how do you go back to a normal life after this shit? Oh my God, he done found, he done found the son. That kid would not know how to speak. He's been living inside of an intestine. Why am I, again, why am I trying to make sense of this? Or the true hero <laughs> who uh, life or death situation reacted with no hesitation. For stopping the, the attack, even though it was because he's the killer. I'm mad I'm laughing at this just. That's how I take Pepto Bismol. I just shoot that bitch from the neck. Not that much, but. Look at me. You're gonna be fine. Y'all got the dog through. Why is it taking so long to get to the kid? We're about to make an exception. A burst out of his ass in the middle of receiving awards. Love that. Let's go. <laughs> Light his ass up, literally. <laughs> Thank God for the sponsor. Ain't no way in hell this is getting monetized. Where'd the Asian child go? Y'all just left? That's a white baby. Where the Asian baby at? Y'all don't take the Asian baby to get the f You telling me that the baby that was in his ass, why am I trying to, I just feel like y'all have suspended reality enough. You just survived an explosion within a person. And you telling me the Asian baby couldn't have survived? Is the zoom into the father's face supposed to be like, oh, the Asian baby survived? We just not gonna follow up with the Asian baby? I'm about to read up. So that's, that's butt boy. <laughs> 
Though it shames me and pains me to say this, but I'd be lying if I didn't. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. I've seen way worse. I followed some fucking doozies, man. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes and Jesus Christ Vampire Hunter and and what was another one that I saw like in real time? I like I like Killer Bean. We're not gonna we're not gonna speak ill on Killer Bean's name. I love that movie. I'd watch it again. Dead ass, I think I will. <laughs> Who the hell was like, you know what? We're gonna make like decent, smooth shot cinematography. And you know, as annoying as it is to say this, I do kind of love that somebody sat there and was like, I want, I have a dream. <laughs> is there like an interview? I gotta, hold on, I gotta find. <laughs> was there a press run? <laughs> Butt Boy is made by the guy who plays Chip. Of course it is. <laughs> interview with indie filmmaker Tyler Kornack a butt boy. A few moments later. So apparently the guy never wanted to act in it. It kind of shows. <laughs> I co-wrote and directed and unfortunately starred in Butt Boy. I didn't even want to play the role, but it just made the most sense. I'm never doing that again. It was fun at times, but uh, I like being behind the camera much more. So we thought the more we played it straight, you know, knowing where the ending went and where it landed, the funnier it would ultimately be. You know, I appreciate that. It is true that a lot of times when I watch these kind of movies that are like fake serious, they end up kind of losing themselves, but this movie stayed to it until the very end. And I kind of appreciate that. So yeah, I have no defense of, I, I can't defend myself. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it again right after this, dead ass. I'm gonna text my friend right now. We watching Butt Boy. So if you like this video, feel free to like this video. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram and Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD. And if you have more bad movies for me to watch, feel free to put them down in the comment section and I will see you guys next time.